Hello and welcome back to Tiny Artist TV, color palette challenge, standard edition, um, as opposed to the uh, Christmas whatever edition <laughs> that I was doing in December. Uh, this is the leftover footage from the last video that I didn't get to. I'm just leaving this in so you can see what color palettes I'm working with. And as you can see, I also had some drawings started, but it's a new year. We're going to start fresh. Same color palettes though, but better ideas. So let's go ahead and get started. For this first redesign or color palette retreatment, um, the color palette name is Dusk Roses. And as you can see, it is very soft, very pastel. So that's what I went with. I just wanted to do something very soft and very dreamy and very pastel. Um, and also something to just kind of like get back into the groove of doing more fuller illustrations because this group of characters, aside from the Valentine's characters I did, these are effectively the first characters I've drawn after like a month and a half of not drawing anything. I literally took a break from drawing because I was just editing and working. And so I used this first palette to just kind of loosen up and just do something light and fluffy, but still like, you know, presentable. Um, effectively, to me, this is kind of more, it, it, it does still feel more like a starter thumbnail by the end, but it's nice enough that it's it gets the point across of this being something just sort of light and ethereal and just sort of cute and not super serious. There are some areas that are refined more than others to just kind of draw in the focus that it's not just this big mass of clouds. And so she is sort of this halfway between she is made of cloud but her dress is also just kind of big and poofy and everything's just big and light and puffy and um overall i could have spent a lot more time working on this as as always you're never done with art unless you say you are and i say i'm done with this piece um and it, it's kind of <laughs> kind of breaks my heart a little bit because when i was working on this um, my wrist kept flaring up and I was like, okay, I need to work on this enough to the point where I'm fine with it, but not so much that like I re-injure myself. And so I tried to meet this middle ground of enough refinement, but also having just sort of the looseness that like I'm, my personal style isn't really known for, but it's something I want to get into just being okay with not having everything super finished and polished. And so this was the first um, redraw or the first reuse of this color palette. Again, Dusk Roses, character number 96 out of the 115 characters that I'm still going through the process of creating, but we're getting closer. We're at least close to 100 now. <laughs> Next up, we actually end up having uh, what becomes a pair of characters, and it was always kind of going to be a pair of characters. Um, as you see here, it's starting out with a mech and the pilot. And the original idea, I just wanted to do something that I don't normally do. I don't really draw mechs a lot. I love their look, but I don't really enjoy drawing them. And so I wanted to get out of that at first. And then I end up going back to just drawing the pilots. But the original idea was that the um, the mech was gonna be sort of like based around a frog and it was gonna have suspension in the legs to help it jump and all this cool stuff. And then after I started drawing it, I was like, this looks really stiff. And then somehow I end up doing just two pilots um but what's cute about it is that i looked at the color palette and i was like okay well instead of doing one character with all of these colors what if i split it and that's actually kind of where i got the idea to do the mech as well it was going to be black with green and orange accents and then of course the pilot suit was also going to reflect that and as you can see i've gone through several iterations of this concept at this point kind of going back and forth between what what I'm gonna land on. It pretty much ends up being this final concept here, but I split the color palette between these two characters, having black as the base, and then one character being black and green, and the other character being black and orange, and naming them FR09 and T04D, or Frog and Toad. 
that was always going to be the thing. The color palette name is Toad Pond, and so I didn't veer too far <laughs> into the weeds from concept, from color palette to concept, but I, yeah, I, I pretty much just wanted to do something sort of like cute and cheeky with the name of the color palette, because the last time I used this, if I'm not mistaken, this was the first color palette that I ended up getting for my Orktober Halloween costume series, and she ended up being this sort of Van Helsing type uh, orc hunter character. And so obviously this is already far and away from that concept, but I just really like the idea of the letters or their names being, or their I guess their code names being Frog and Toad and just leaned into that sort of like 90s or 2000s mech anime aesthetic. Um, again, not helped by the fact that I just finished watching Witch of Mercury and yeah, I, I just love the look of their outfits and my husband and I have been talking a lot about Evangelion and looking at Darling in the Franks and it's always just such a like a sleek, cool, clean aesthetic and I was like, well, I could obviously easily recreate this with the colors that I have, so that's what I did. So this is Illustration 97. I guess technically I could bifurcate this and call this character 97 and 98, but for intents and purposes of keeping track with the color palettes, we're gonna call this Illustration 97. Now our last character for today's video, character number 98, is assigned the color palette Blackberry 1. There's another color palette, Blackberry 2. But um, Blackberry 1, and I don't know what inspired me to turn this into a kitsune, but somehow my brain said, hey, do this, it makes sense, and my brain was right <laughs> to an extent. Um, I, I guess overall it was the idea of taking this sort of gradient and it, it looked sort of like a mystical fox type and then I, I think I was originally going to use the green for the magic but then I ended up using the green for the highlights and the clothing and then end up using the red as the magic because it felt more sinister and felt more traditional a la Okami-esque because a lot of the magic in that game or a lot of implications of that magic um everything's very like red um all of the markings on the ancient uh zodiac animals is red and then of course kitsune are typically depicted being white and red as well and so i wanted to still put a little bit of that into there now as you can see here i'm trying out a separate pose because i felt that the first one was too stiff but then the second pose was like too too much emphasis on the action versus the character and so i'm trying to fill the canvas a little bit more so zooming out didn't work and so now i'm just adding more elements to try to make this feel like a more full more fleshed out character versus just your standard like kitsune type you know you know how they normally look just kind of like cool magical fox women and so this is pretty much what this is this was the easiest one for me to do because from concept to finish it was pretty streamlined as a matter of fact looking and editing this was pretty much everything was left in for this clip everything else that i did in this video got a lot cut out what you're seeing is basically start to finish <laughs> the process of drawing out the idea and then not being happy with this so trying something else not being happy with that going back to the first idea and then just lining and coloring and then adding the effects to that it was that simple um because this is i've done similar concepts and of course if you've watched uh, any number of my videos um this isn't my first foray into japanese yokai and folklore and things like that so this this was a more of a comfort zone character for me to pop out and now that i think about it i really didn't have anything else that i would have done with this color palette and probably would have been happy with because it's very similar to one of the armor color palettes but that is all i have for you guys today so i hope you have enjoyed this next installment of the color palette challenge we're getting into the final stretch of course the next video is going to be more color palette challenge videos we're finally gonna hit 100 getting closer to that 115 character marker and so 
thanks for sticking around um hope to see you guys in the next video until then have a weird day bye